Well, tonight's video is done especially for the men among us. It's not often necessarily that uh, we demonstrate to our significant others how important they are to us. So tonight we're going to make a little dinner for them. And on tonight's menu we have smoked rock Cornish game hen, new potatoes with rosemary, asparagus, a little bit of fresh tossed salad, and for dessert some fresh berries. Now we're going to smoke some rock Cornish game hens. They're basically little chickens and they come in little packages, individuals like this. And just take them out, take them out of the package. And we will run a little bit of water through them and we'll put them onto the little holder. That spice mix you see before you is mainly poultry seasoning but it has a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, just a tad of onion powder and what we do with that is we will add, if you have it, a little bit of powdered smoke. Now you don't have to have it, if you don't have it don't worry about it. We're getting ready to go put it on the smoker. So we're going to clean our hand, pick up a little guy like this, take just a little bit of the pinch from a little bit of a distance, sprinkle it on top. You don't have to have a lot. This is a small bird. It's just a little bit of flavor. The smoke is going to do most of it. These are little Cornish game hen holders. They are made just for this purpose. And you can change your spices to suit you. I do this over the sink because it's kind of messy. Actually, I can't remember the last time I made Cornish game hens. And that's how we do it. And I've got one more to do, and I'll get that done. We'll put them on the pit, and then we'll get on with the rest of it. Now we have one last step before we go to the smoker. We need to use a nice Italian wine, and we're going to pour this in here so that it acts as the baster, as the as the moisture agent. And uh, for some of my Southern Lake going friends that hang out with me sometime or I hang out with them, I have to inform them, wine comes from Italy, not a box. So we just pour this in there, that'll give just a little bit of moisture, it doesn't take a lot. May have to open another bottle. And now we head out to the barbecue pit. Now we're about ready to put the birds on. Let's see. We have smoke coming out the top. We have our needle at the red and blue line, about where I'd like it to be, which is about 225. Let's set the birds on. And we're ready to go inside and do some cooking. Now to start the inside work, the salad's easy because we're just going to use a pre-mix. You just buy it like that in a bag. The asparagus is easy. We just need to remember to take off about uh, two, two and a half inches up off the bottom where it's dried out because this is always going to be hard on, you know, on you and uh, this is not going to be good. So you always take off about that much or a little bit more. Cook it in a little bit of water to soften it up. The new potatoes, got two types, the red and the gold. You don't really need that but they look nice on the plate and have the, the contrasting colors. You can also take out some of them and blend them up. Put a little bit of rosemary, chop with just a little bit of fresh rosemary up in it with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and real butter. Not that yellow death hydrogenated oil stuff, margarine, but real butter. And put it in and then set that down on the plate, dip that on the plate and set the new potatoes in that. Take a little bit of a sprig of the rosemary and then use that as a little bit of a garnish from underneath. Give it a little bit of cover. But these basically boil in water and for the dessert we have a little fresh berries. We just use strawberries because they're in season, blackberries, and raspberries. And all we do with these is we 
wash them, put them in the bowl, and we get them ready to go. The strawberries, we're going to cap them, which is, you know, cut that off, split them in half, put them in the bowl, and that way we set this in the refrigerator so it's ready to spoon out in the little dishes, ready to go, and then we can put these on the boil and this over here into the, the stove to start softening up. By then our bird should be getting closer to being done, and then it's ready to plate it all out, and we're ready to go. Now, if you not prepared much fruit, there's nothing to it, you just cut the ends off and this serves to do two purposes. The main thing is you're looking for the best ripest strawberries, but you're also making sure you don't have any bad spots because you don't want anything to ruin the moment, like having a overly soft or too green of a strawberry. And I think that's going to be probably enough strawberries to go in the fruit. So now we put them in here. We just rinse them and let let the fruit drain and I'll set this aside and I'll get the pan for the asparagus and remember all I said you just need to take off about the last few inches, two inches or so because that's been dry, drying out. See how kind of white it is now we're back to the green. That won't get, uh, put that in here, whoops, about to rinse it. We'll go add a little bit of water, just kind of enough to kind of steam it, and that's all you got to do for asparagus. And then we'll feed these to the little goat. And after the fruit drains, we'll add it to the bowl so it can keep getting refrigerated. And then we're on to making the potatoes. Now we're gonna mash up just a few of these potatoes. Add just a little bit of butter, maybe a little bit more, and let's take, so I don't have the sour cream, take a little bit of cottage cheese, and remember we, this is a strong flavor, the rosemary is a strong flavor, so we just put a little bit in there, that's probably enough, shake just a little bit of garlic, that's probably enough. A bit of black pepper, some salt, we can always add a little bit more. Set that down and get off there. And hopefully, we'll blend this out. We may add a little bit more kind of cheese. But what we're looking for is a creamy consistency. And then we'll spoon this down and give our new potatoes a little spicy base to sit in. Now there's the final plated meal that any guy can do. It's just steamed asparagus, a little pre-mix salad, the uh, rock Cornish game hens, they're smoked with just a little bit of uh, poultry seasoning and salt and pepper. And uh, You don't have to smoke them, you can grill them, you can do whatever you want to. Uh, the the uh, rosemary, new potatoes, and we just took a little out and blended them up a little bit with a little salt, a little pepper, just a little bit of rosemary because it, it's kind of a sagey taste, very strong. Now,